I am very excited to share my findings with you today. I believe I have found a stock that can surprise the whole investment community. Market is currently unable to value their new and better gene editing technology, but that is about to change soon. Quick announcement, I will provide update on Cora Therapeutic at the end of this video. You must have heard of CRISPR gene editing technology. What if I tell you that Editus Medicine Incorporated ticker symbol EDIT has developed a better gene editing technology that addresses all the deficiencies of CRISPR gene editing technology. Once market realized the true potential of their technology, it would be too late. Editus can provide 10 time returns in long term. Kathy Wood is buying the dips on this stock. BlackRock and Vanguard Group has bought a significant chunk of this company. Listen carefully and don't skip please because this information could be worth billions to many high profile investors. And we too can benefit from an early stock entry. The name of Aditya's new gene editing technique is SLEEK and that stands for Selection by Essential Gene Axon Knock-In. But at the moment, CRISPR is used for gene editing. Term CRISPR refers to a gene editing technology that can revise, remove and replace DNA in a highly targeted manner. But it had a major flaw and that was low efficiency in gene knock-ins, meaning after the removal of flawed gene, the insertion of new perfect gene was never 100% efficient. But now Aditus has developed a new gene editing technique called SLEEK that has 100% gene knock-in rates. Now listen to what Mark S. Sherman, Executive Vice President and Chief Scientific Officer of Aditus Medicine said about their new sleek gene editing technology. We find the new gene editing sleek technology to have immense potential as it enables nearly 100% knock-in of functional transgene cargoes at specific location in the genome, which we believe to be the highest in the gene editing field across multiple cell types. We believe that this novel technology has broad applications and may result in substantially improved gene edited cell medicines, including for novel CART and CARNK cell therapies. Well, I think this is a huge breakthrough in gene editing technology. Before moving on, just a quick request to like the video and if you enjoy the content, then press the subscribe and bell notification button to receive instant alerts. Also consider joining our private Discord server where I share my buying, selling and options alerts on daily and weekly basis. With our options strategy, you can make five to $10,000 in options premium easily. Last week, we made 7,000 plus in premiums alone. The link to join on Discord through Patreon is given below in the description. Now, let's get back to the main topic. Aditus has presented a preclinical data on its new gene editing technology named SLEEK. The data has been presented at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratories Genome Engineering. CRISPR Frontiers meeting held virtually on August 20, 2021. The preclinical data presentation lifted the stock price up by 8.25% on the same day. The reason of adding SLEEK to the gene editing technology collection is to combat the challenge of an inefficient knock-in of transgenes in the gene editing field. Though the current gene editing technologies have made many disruptions, but an efficient knock-in transgene has been a major challenge for genomic world. But now, SLEEK is proving it in enabling high knock-in efficiencies with different transgenes while ensuring robust transgene expression. Aditus Medicine believes that SLEEK may enable the development of next-generation cell therapeutics for cancer and other serious diseases. Aditus stock is full of catalysts. Aditus next month has a major catalyst of the clinical data announcements of its candidate EDIT101 or Edit101 LCA10. LCA means Leber Congenital Amaurosis which is a type of inherited eye disorder that causes severe vision loss at birth. Now, Kathy Wood says that if this drug works, the investor response will be huge. Listen to her. Uh, I'll wait to see what happens. Well, that'll be too late if these human trials are successful. One of the first one being pediatric blindness. A baby born blind, you correct that programming error, the baby can see, it works in mice, it works in non-human primates. If it works in human beings, Think about how, how, what the reaction will be. 
Well, we'd prefer to be in the stocks before that reaction. It deserves mention that LCA is the most common cause of childhood blindness affecting 2 to 3 per 100,000 babies. The global genome editing market has been estimated to grow from 5.37 billion US dollars in 2020 to 17.36 billion US dollars by the year 2028 with a CAGR of 15.8%. Similarly, the global market of CRISPR technology which is used in gene editing and being used by the majority of companies on commercial basis has been expected to grow to $10,825.1 million by the year 2030. That is from $846.2 million in 2019 at a CAGR of 26.86%. ARC Genomic ETF ARCG holds more than 1.3 million shares of Aditus, whereas ARC Innovation ETF ARCK holds more than 4.268 million shares of Aditus. These total 5.57 million shares of Aditus are valued around $362 million at an average current price of $65 per share. Kathy Woods ARC has bought around 200,000 shares of ADIT during this month. Another interesting fact is that these shares have been bought on an average price of $30 which has already been doubled but Kathy Wood is again buying rather than selling, being doubling its investment in ADITES. This shows Kathy Wood is looking beyond the current level to make a bigger return on Aditus. In addition to ARC's holdings, a few other major institutional investment giants have significant positions of Aditus in their portfolio. Vanguard Group Incorporation, which held approximately 7 trillion US dollars in assets under management, holds around 6.5 million shares of Aditus in their portfolio, valuing around 367.25 million US dollars. Whereas BlackRock owning 10 trillion US dollars assets under management holds around 5.6 million shares of Aditus in their portfolio valuing around 316.35 million US dollars. Recently, WHO has also urged the developed nations to share gene editing tools with poorer nations. Second on the list is Cara Therapeutics Incorporation Nasdaq ticker symbol CARA. Main drug of Cara named Kosova has become the first and only therapy approved by the FDA for the treatment of pruritus associated with chronic kidney disease known as CKDAP in adults undergoing hemodialysis. Cara Therapeutics and Vifa Pharma announced that the US Food and Drug Administration FDA has approved Kosova. Now Cara and Vifa Pharma expects to begin promoting Kosova injection in quarter 1 2022 with reimbursement expected in H1 2022. On the approval, the stock halted around $14.28. But next day, the stock surged from $14.28 to $18.25 in pre-market and literally cooled off around $15 per share. We did timely profit taking near 18 and earned handsome money. Of course, the stock price could not double, but we earned handsome amount. We covered the Kara stock on Sunday morning on this YouTube channel whereas the catalyst alert was shared with our Discord family days before. Now with Kosova injection becoming the first US approved therapy for the indication, the analysts have issued positive views on the company. Piper Sandler analyst David Amsalim notes that the opportunity for Kosova is not yet reflected in company shares. The firm has an overweight rating on the stock and the price target of $30 implies a premium of 110.1% to the last close. The FDA decision has removed a regulatory barrier for CARA, Kendra Fitzgerald argues with an overweight rating. The approval cut the commercial risk for the company, the analyst Charles Duncan added, expecting the drug to be a significant transformation to the present standard of care, the price target of $32 implies a premium of 124.1% to the last close. Meanwhile, Jeffrey's analyst Christopher Hoverton estimates $900 million of peak sales opportunity for the drug in 2030. Now you must be wondering that FDA approval is one of the big events for a stock but unlikely. The Carol stock has not surged as expected and seen in other cases. Holistically, there is one main reason. Cara and Vifa Pharma has announced to launch its Kosova injection in quarter 1 2022 for promotion and in H1 2022 on commercial basis. The impatient investors usually fed up for waiting that long. But Kara is going to give its Kosova injection to 300,000 Americans 
a drug for which they were waiting excitedly. Now the injection has been approved and as per agreement, Kera will get an additional $50 million as a result of stock sale to Viper on premium as a reward for securing FDA approval that will further entitle it to get around $240 million in sales milestones. For this, Kera Therapeutics Incorporation and Viper Pharma have agreed to an exclusive license to commercialize Kosova injection in the US. The agreement features a Kera 60% Viper Pharma 40% profit sharing agreement in non presenius medical care clinics in the US. Kera is a long hold stock. Once the reimbursement will be settled and the Kosova injection will be available on a commercial basis, the earnings stream would lift the company's valuation on new highs and the stock price would be re-rated.